What's up guys, John here with Big Drew, and we're gonna go over five tips to help you guys get stronger and not get hurt in the gym every time. These tips and tricks me and Drew use, and they're gonna set you up for long-term success and results with keeping you healthy and strong. The first one, hydrate. Yes, definitely wanna hydrate, guys. The muscle is made mostly of water, as everybody, well not everybody knows, but if you guys don't know, the muscle is made up of a lot of water. So you, if, there, if there's not water in there, that's how it tears, which I've done. Absolutely. I've torn both biceps. <laughs> um, but you want to make sure you're hydrated when you go in the gym. You want to make sure the muscle is basically lubricated so when you're lifting heavy, it doesn't tear. Yeah. I'm trying to compare it to like maybe a piece of paper. If a piece of paper is bone dry, it just tears easy. If it's wet, it's a little bit harder to tear. The muscle is the same way. So you want to keep your body hydrated. And also, it's going to help you from getting dizzy. It's yep. going to help you from cramping. Yep. And it's also going to help you, you know, feel better. If you, if you sweat a lot, you also want to hydrate too. So I'll always, always stay hydrated. And don't just hydrate at the gym. Yep. A lot of times people don't drink enough. They bring a gallon of water to the gym. They chug that gallon at the gym. That's actually worse because their body's not used to the water. So right. when they take it in, they're just going to piss it right back out. Right. So what you want to do is hydrate the night before, hydrate throughout the day. So that way the next day you go to the gym, you can still continue to sip your water, but it's actually going to affect you. And it's yep. not just going to be chugging water. Yep. You want to continuously drink water the same way you continuously have your meals. Yep. You guys know meals every two to three hours have water every 30 minutes to an hour. If you don't have time for it, set the reminder on your phone. Yep. If you drink one bottle of water every hour, you're over a gallon of water every day. Absolutely. So it's really not that hard to get your water in. Just make sure you drink eight bottles of water a day, which is a gallon, yep. and you won't have that muscle tear. Absolutely, so like Drew was talking about, so not only is the muscle mainly consistent of water, but the body's over 70% of water. That's right, so your body is basically made up of a lot of water. Your yeah. blood, everything <laughs> that goes into it is water-based, so water's it's essential for your hydration and for your health, along with getting results. And not only just helping you hydrate, but it's also gonna help flush toxins out through the day, especially when you're working out and you're sweating right. and you're getting all these toxins out of your body. You gotta replenish those fluids so it's key so you don't dehydrate and you don't end up hurt in the hospital right. or, or just not looking good because even your vascularity can depend on the amount of water that you're continuously pushing through your body at that point. So right. stay hydrated. Yes. It's essential for your body, essential for your health, and great for your workouts. The second one, stretch and warm up before you start. Yes. So I think, you know, the older that me and Drew get, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the more that we have to stretch and warm up to make yeah. sure that our bodies are ready to Definitely. take on the progressive <laughs> load or weight that yeah. we're going to push or the strain that we're going to push on our body yeah. without hurting ourselves. Yeah. So I definitely stretch, definitely warm up. If you don't, if you don't like to stretch, because there's a thing where stretching fatigues the muscle, and a lot of people don't want to stretch too much because they feel it fatigues the muscles. They can't lift as much or do as much volume or whatever they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Then do a warm up. Right. If you're doing legs, get on the bike, walk, do something. Don't just go right into your workout from uh, uh, sitting at a desk all day, or yeah. even if you're walking around all day, you're not walking around in the gym. So you're not doing the same movements in the gym as you're doing throughout the rest of your day. So you wanna warm up those movements to get them ready. Right. So even if you're squatting, just do some body weight, body weight warm ups. You don't have to necessarily put your legs behind your head like a yoga instructor, yeah. <laughs> but you wanna just make sure you get blood in the muscle. You wanna make sure everything is lubricated and going that way you're not gonna have, you know, the tears and all that stuff yep. too. So tears if you don't stretch, warm up. If you don't warm up, stretch. Yep. But if you don't do it, if you do both of them, it's even better. Yes. But yes. um, do definitely do one of the two, otherwise, it's only a matter of time for something pops and you can't look good and you can't train and it's a whole nother issue and then you, it never gets back. You know, Absolutely. But. So it's, it's a big part of your workout and for you to get a healthy workout without having any injuries. Obviously stretching, especially when you get older and stuff like that, you're going to feel like your joints might be hurting you more. They might be a lot more tighter. Muscles, ACLs, all these different things uh, go right along with stretching and warming up. Whether it's just stretching, you know, your if you're doing chest and you're doing your shoulders or your legs or whatever it may be, getting the blood flowing. That's the old yep. term that we used to use. Uh, at that point, you're getting the blood, you're getting everything stretched out. Um, so it's not gonna be real tight. So if you go in there and you do have a pretty stressful, you know, like session or, or, yep. or set, um, you don't hurt yourself on the way up or anything like that. You don't feel pops, you don't, you know, hurt shoulders, knees, joint areas. Because like you said, once you get hurt, mm -hmm. it's gonna start putting you behind, the, you know, the eight ball at that point. And then you have to work your way up just to where you're at now, just to get ahead and start progressing again. And mentally, it will basically you'll be screwed yes because yes. you're not going to be able to go to the gym you're going to yeah. want to go to the gym the everything else in your body is going to be working fine with that one muscle yeah. group yeah. and you can't work out you don't want to be lopsided so you can't just work out one side 
Absolutely. It's not worth it, guys. No, it definitely isn't. And, you know, it, it's it's true what they say that, you know, everything is connected. So if you hurt, let's say, your shoulder, you're not going to go through bicep curls or it might hurt you, shoulder lifts, bench press, and all these different things. So everything's connected. So make sure you guys realize that and you guys are doing proper stretching or warm-ups, okay, before you work out. Number three, don't go the heaviest right when you get in the gym. Don't be egotistical. Yeah. Okay, I think we've all been there. Yeah, uh, I used to be. I used yeah. to be that guy. Like I used to be that guy going to the gym videos. like peak hour, 6.30, and yep. throw 4 or 5 or 3.15 in my first set and just watch people. <laughs> now I could do it, but I'm yep. going to be you know, injured. I'm going to have, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's not the same. Yeah. It's not Work the same. smarter, not harder, basically, yeah. at this point. You know, you go in there, and you don't have to lift the heaviest in the gym. Make sure your form is correct. Yeah. Make sure you're getting the right amount of reps in your set. Mm -hmm. And that could be, you know, depending on what you are or where you're at, right. it could be a lot more, a lot less. Just make yeah. sure that you're getting that proper uh, workout in without going the heaviest and being egotistical of girls around or whatever. Yeah, guys yeah, around, yeah. Whatever it is. That's exactly what it is too. Yeah. You know, you got, when you go into the gym, if you have, if, say, if, if you got to have a game plan too. So exactly. when you go in the gym, when you have a game plan, if I'm going to work out shoulders, or I'm not even that. Say if you have a game plan, I'm going to work out legs, and then you go in there and you see everybody on the bench. Yeah. You see everybody crowd around. You see guys lifting heavy weight. You see people impressed with the heavy weight. Yeah. And you know you could warm up with that weight. Yeah. So if you don't if you don't stick to the game plan, you went in there to train legs, and then now all of a sudden your ego's kicking in. You want to go over there just to show off and get injured. Yeah. You know you got to got to stick to what you're normally supposed to be doing. Don't just do it because there's a crowd of people. Wait for the crowd of people if you're a powerlifter at the event, or if you're a bodybuilder at the show, or if it's spring break and you want to show off your body, or if it's vacation with the wife and kids and you want to show off for the pictures. Yeah. Wait for that to yeah. to show up. Don't just randomly do it. No. For the gym with just a bunch of heads Strangers. you don't really even know yeah, yeah. for an ig pick or something <laughs> like that you know it's not worth it so that's number four having a game plan yes. having a game plan right when you walk in there or having a game plan beforehand knowing what you're going to hit as far as body part wise mm -hmm. how many sets possibly knowing what you're going to do right going in there not just going in there and and going off the seat of your pants or flying off the seat of your pants. Now, once you get more experience this season, I, I think, you know, if you got an extra time to go in there, you're like, listen, I'm just gonna go hit the gym. Yeah. You can go in there and you can start hitting it and maybe just do that. Mm. But right off the bat, when you're really trying to get somewhere, have a game yeah. plan. It's like it's like using a roadmap, right? Mm. Or having those directions beforehand of where you're gonna go. Mm. You know exactly how you're going to get there and you're laying out each step. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, now you can take this in your, your brain as far as remembering of what you're doing, or you have to write it down. That's fine. Yeah. That's and, we have, and if you guys don't have a game plan, we have one now we right. have the titan fitness right. program done. we have the game plan so if you guys don't want to come up with it yourself yep. get our game plan yep. take it and then use the other four things we're giving you and go to work out exactly exactly we will give you the lowdown on exactly what you should be doing when you should be doing it so you can always have us there for help next one fifth and final one progressive load to get stronger all right so we talked about you know staying healthy not getting hurt in the gym and getting stronger how do you do this so it's progressive overload. That means that you're working up more weight every time that you go in there. Um, and it's specific, and it don't have to be a lot of weight. So right, a lot of people right. think that, listen, I gotta go up 50 pounds, 100 pounds, whatever it is, um, you know, next time I go in there, because I'm just trying to get stronger and faster. Right. You know, we know that muscles get stronger faster than ligaments and tendons and stuff like that. So you have to progressively get everything stronger and be on yeah. the same level. Yes, you don't want to just, and you don't want to just get into, um, if you're trying to get stronger, don't just do more reps with the same weight. So a lot of, a lot of people go in, oh, I bench this amount of time. I can bench this weight for 10 reps. Right. My goal is to get it to 15 reps. If you're trying to get stronger, increase right. the weight. Right. Keep the rep range the same. So right. don't just, I mean, I, I've fallen victim to that too. Yep. Um, but you want to make sure that you, uh, if you want to get stronger, don't just increase your reps. A lot, of I see that a lot of times. A lot of guys are like, yeah, I used to be able to. Um, your stamina might be better. Absolutely. It doesn't mean you're stronger. Absolutely. It stamina might be the Hercules kicking a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. But it doesn't mean you're stronger. So, I mean, you may have more stamina. But if you actually want to push more weight one time, yep. you know, you got to get the weight. Even if it's the little 2.5, the little girly 2.5 exactly. you see, exactly. throw that on there. Throw a five pound on there. I mean, yep. who cares? Like, you're getting stronger. You're, yeah, you're adding more weight on. Anything in life, you want to progress. So why not just do it in the gym with your weights? 100%. Because if you stay at the exact same weight and you're doing the exact same sets and stuff like that, like he's talking about, you're going to stay at that same weight and you're not going to get any stronger. You're going to be great. You're going to be maintained. Yeah. Um, but you're not going to keep going up and progressing. And if you want the mirror to change, that's probably not going to change that much either. Right. So you right. know, always want to progress. You always want to do better. Anything. Anything you do. Even anything. with your diet, with your, with your parenting, with the, anything you want to do, you yeah. want to get better. So why not do it the same? The same. If you go to work every single day, if you working the same job, making the same hourly wage or same salary, if you get salary, mm -hmm. if you had to, why would you, a lot of people go to the gym and I see these guys go to the gym and they go in there, they'll, you know, they'll do squats three sets of 10, bench three sets of 10 and leave. They've been doing that for five, six years. Right. 
If I asked them if they made the same amount of money five, six years ago, they'd laugh at me. Yeah. But they're doing the same thing at the gym, so why not switch it up? Yeah. You know, it's got you got to get better in life. I'm never going backwards. I promise you that. Absolutely, they're they're expecting different results and doing the exact same thing. Yeah. And the definition of that is insanity. If you do the exact same thing over and over and over and expect a different result, that's insanity. Yes. So don't go insane. You know what you're supposed to do. Do it. Okay. Yes. If you're going in there and you're putting the work, why not get a benefit out of it? All right. I, I do see this a lot too, like you were talking about. You see the exact same people in there doing the exact same thing they're very consistent yeah. being in there three or four days and they're they, in shape too i mean they they're, they don't look their like body they look great though. but they look exactly the same right yeah, exactly yeah. so at that point you want to change you want to get a good change and this is how to do it yeah. so these are just five tips and tricks that me and drew came up with for you guys to stay healthy stay strong right and not get hurt in the gym that's it hydrate stretch warm up don't go heavy game plan and make sure you have a progressive overload five tips let's go also, 2 p.m. tight lifestyle, Friday. Let's go.